everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. Today, I have another fun fashion haul for you. I've actually gotten a few comments, both on social media and YouTube, asking me to do another fashion haul, so I'm very excited that you all have been liking these videos that I've been trying to do, more like try-on hauls. And today is a really exciting one because I've been super curious about this site, and finally, I've been able to try some of their clothes, and I'm talking about Zaffle. So Zaffle is one of those shipped straight from China clothing retailers where there are a lot of cute styles for really cheap, but there are a lot of hit or miss when it comes to, you know, what you're getting, the quality, how it actually fits. So I've been curious about how their clothes would work for me. For context, I am a street size 8, I am 145 pounds and 5'4", so, you know, gives you a little bit of an idea of my body type and I would consider myself pear-shaped. So I've got several styles to show you, let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is the first outfit, and it's kind of like a stretchy, very thin, I don't know what you would call it, like a tracksuit? Cropped tracksuit? I don't know, but it was $21.39, and it was sold as a set, so you don't have to worry about buying separates. I think that's a pretty good price. And we do have a high-waisted pant with a cropped little hoodie situation, which I think is very cute, very Kylie Jenner. The material is interesting. It's like a very thin, stretchy material, very comfortable. Now, I'm not sure if I would actually work out in this. It is from their sports line. Line, but I think it's definitely more of a fashion athleisure moment because anytime you exercise your full range of motion with your arms, you do get a little bit of an under boob going on. But I will say it is very comfortable for lounging, running errands, just kind of, you know, getting that sporty vibe. Let me just zoom down so you can see the rest of the pants. So here are the pant bottoms. I really like how it makes the rump look, not so much the tum area because this uh, material, like I said, is very thin. It does tend to cling on to every curve, whether or not you want it to. So even like where my skin kind of like goes in because of my panty lines, this might be one of those kinds of pants you want to wear with like, I don't know, a thong or just um, seamless panties, but they are skinny. They go all the way down to the ankle and yeah, overall pretty comfortable. So I feel like this would make a very good Instagram photo. I I just don't know how often I'd actually wear it out or wear it exercising for that matter. And I am a size large. I feel like it fits pretty well besides the pants being a little bit clingy to some curves that I don't necessarily want to accentuate. Um, in general, it's a good fit. It's not too tight. Like it does fit comfortably besides the whole like short crop top situation. And here's what it looks like with the hood on. Yeah, overall very cute. Next outfit. <laughs> All right, so this is one of my favorite things that I ordered from Zapple, and it was $28.99. It's this really cute, like, high neck sweater dress. It was a one size only item, or one size fits all. Um, like I said, I'm a size eight, and it's like, you know, a little bit loose on me, kind of shruggy. I would say with the room that's left in it, it would probably fit comfortably up to like a size 12, perhaps, and then you would get a little bit more of like um, a snug fit. But as you can see, it's just kind of like a straight sweater dress. I think it's just really nice and cozy for the fall and winter time, and it hits me kind of mid-thigh. I'll zoom you down. So here's where it hits. I think it's a really appropriate length to wear leggings or tights underneath. Now, as you can see, the silhouette is pretty straight. It doesn't really accentuate anything, but I picked up this thinner belt from Target as like a little waist belt, and you can do this, and it'll just kind of add a little bit more shape back into the dress. I think it looks nice like that too. So yeah, this ended up being one of my favorite things from the haul just because I can totally see myself wearing this, you know, to holiday parties or just get togethers this season. Totally worth it and it's a nice thick knit, like it feels quality. All right, next outfit. All right, so here's the next outfit, very fall in my opinion. So we have this ruffle red crop top. This was $15.49. It is like a thinner material, um, very straightforward, basic, um, off the shoulder, very cute. But the real star of this outfit and pretty much almost maybe the whole haul has been this skirt. So this is a suspender jean button down skirt. Now I bought it thinking that it was only able to be worn as suspenders and you can see they cross in the back but these straps are actually completely removable. So let me just show it to you on its own. So here's how it looks like on its own, and this is pretty much how I've been wearing it exclusively. I haven't gone out using the suspenders since I found out that they could be taken off just because I feel like this is a much more clean look, and it's kind of 
more matchable. I will say that I got a size XL. I am a size eight normally in jeans and it fits very well in terms of like wearing it as a high-waisted skirt. I feel like it's the perfect size. However, I do notice sometimes like in photos, you do see a little bit of button pulling around my wider area, which is like my hips and lower tummy. Now something that kind of surprised me when I got this skirt in the mail, there were no buttonholes. <laughs> and clearly it's a very button focused design. So they had like the button stitching, but there was no hole to push the button through. I did a quick search online and apparently this is common in Asian countries. A lot of jeans are sold without buttonholes and you cut them yourself. I guess it indicates that it's new, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so basically I took a box cutter and I sliced through um, in between the stitching and I used two sewing pins on either side to make sure I didn't slice too far because if you slice all the way um, Past the stitching then you can risk the denim unraveling as you put the buttons through and out So that was kind of nerve-wracking because I'm like, oh I don't want to screw this up and ruin this item of clothing because I knew right away When I'm feeling the material I was like, oh, I'm really gonna like this skirt So that's just something to know you're gonna have to put in a little bit of work to uh, finish the look But yeah, so this skirt one of my favorites and I think it pairs really well with this top. Next top that I like to pair with this skirt, I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so this is the second shirt that I like pairing with the jean skirt. And it's more of like, I don't wanna say formal, but maybe like business casual. And it does go all the way down as far as the sleeves, but I like rolling it up and it does have this button hold to keep the sleeves up. This is a medium. I think I could have gotten away with a small, although maybe the shoulders would have been tight, but it is more of like a flowy fit. But that does give you a little bit of leeway to either tie it up and maybe wear it like this, or how I wear it is I do tuck it in to high-waisted pants or skirts. So here's how that looks like, and then you can kind of poof it out a little bit once you've tucked it in. I think this is really cute. It is a little bit more maybe dressed up, and just a good fit. This was only $13.99. It is a very thin material, and it is slightly on the sheerer side, so you want to wear um, a nude colored bra, so that way you don't have any peekaboo moments. So I do like it, but because it is such a thin material, I'm a little bit worried about how long it will last. I've washed it once, and it's done okay, but I'm not not putting it through the dryer and I think that's gonna be the key with a lot of these thinner clothing items is that uh, you know don't put it through too much and it'll last longer all right next outfit okay so this is the next outfit it is a dress I'm loving the bell sleeves and it's very fall however I have a lot of sizing issues with this outfit so I first ordered a small in this dress which fit me perfectly around the waist but the shoulders were so tight like I could not have any motion in my arms I felt like the dress was gonna burst so then I sized up to a large and now the shoulders feel fine but like the rest of the dress is just a little weird so this dress is meant to have a pretty low v-neck but when I sized up to the large the neck opening was wider too so it wasn't as easy to wear like if it was like this that'd be fine but because it wants to like open this way too it's a little bit of an issue and there is a drawstring to kind of cinch the waist but now that I got the large there's like too much fabric so when I cinch it it just looks a little lumpy if you can see and tell right here, there's just like too much fabric. So I'm really disappointed because this is such a cute fall dress. I was looking forward to wearing this so much. Now it does hit about mid thigh, which may be a little bit short for fall, but again, pairing it with some leggings or tights would have been so cute with this. So this was definitely the biggest disappointment of the haul because it was so cute. I just could not figure out like the sizing. It's $14.99, so I mean, if I really wanted to, I could bring this to a tailor and maybe like, bring it in in the waist and up in the shoulders, but like at that point, it's gonna turn into like a $25, $30 dress and it's not necessarily worth it. Again, it's very thin material. Um, I might actually try washing it and drying it to see if that will shrink it. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm just afraid that it'll shrink in the shoulders and then I'll end up with the same problem. So yeah, this was a womp womp for me. All right, here's the next outfit. Now this top was $19.49. However, I would not say that it's worth it and I wouldn't recommend it. Even though it's so cute, it was another slight disappointment for me. So we do have these bell sleeves, so adorable. I absolutely love this style. It zips up all the way in back and then you do have a tie. Now this is where kind of the first problems come in is that the zipper portion of this shirt, it tends to ride up, so I'm not quite sure what kind of bra you'd wear with this, and you definitely wouldn't wanna go braless because it is very sheer. In fact, I'm wearing a nude bra right now, and you can still see it 
pretty clearly. Very, very thin material. This is another one that I was very nervous to wash because before I even did anything, just out of the bag, it did come with some rips in the side right here and right here. Now they are right on the seam, so I might be able to reinforce that with my sewing machine. But I mean, for $19.49, you know, almost a $20 shirt, you don't really want to have to fix it right away, you know? Um, I have washed this and I did not dry it and it didn't make the rips worse. So I'm hoping if I, you know, reinforce it, then we'll be good to go. However, these pants I'm in love with. So these are some high waisted gingham pants and I think they are so rad. So these were $20.99. They come up pretty high on the waist, which is great for me because I do have a long torso. It's pretty hard to find high waisted stuff that fits me right. And I like the little double fly here, you know, just kind of zip it down. If you've eaten too much, let it hang out a little bit. Um, no, but this is just a really cute, good fit. Now I originally ordered an XL because that matched um, the size eight on the sizing chart, but it was actually a little loose around the um, waist area. So I sized down to a large and these are now perfect. And they are a little bit of like a crop cut at the ankle too. So just something to note. But yeah, I'll definitely be getting used out of these and wearing them with more crop tops. Okay, this last shirt is very confusing because it is a wrap shirt. A wrap shirt, so I have to basically tie it closed. And on the website, it doesn't show like these straps being so long and it's supposed to like only just tie right here in front and call it a day, but clearly I can't do that because I need to like tie it shut and that doesn't work. So then I'm like, okay, well maybe I'm supposed to tie it in back, but then the this is just like too long. This is gonna get caught and stuff. And I'm like, all right, well maybe I'm supposed to wrap it like around and tie it again in front. And that looks like it might be the most right, but then I just think it looks kind of bizarre in back and it's like squeezing my side chub here. I don't know. So this was a confusing garment. On top of that, this one definitely was not made well. There's a lot of fringing at the ends of um, like hems. Even though this fabric is actually like nicer and it's a little bit thicker, this is 1949 and again, the ties did come, hold on, let me untie this. Like that's not, that's not quality work right there. So yeah, this was weird, another disappointment. Again, all of my bell sleeve tops were disappointments and I really just wanted a cute bell sleeve top. Ugh. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend this one either. So that was my whole Zaffa haul. What did you think? We definitely had both hits and misses, but the hits were like, really good hits. I'm very curious to hear if you have had any experience with this website. Please leave it in the comments below and I will have a coupon code in the description for you if you wanna order some stuff for yourself. Fall is coming up, it's time to switch out our wardrobe so it's a good opportunity to try out some new styles on the cheap. All right everyone, if you want me to keep making clothing hauls, hit the thumbs up, I'll do another one for fall and winter. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, become the newest member of the Slashed Squad and if you've already done that, please consider hitting the bell icon and turning on video notifications if you don't, YouTube decides what's on your subscription page, not you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!